So welcome back to the Atari ST Nostalgia GFR Basic Tour. Now in the previous video we used our first code by setting and processing some variables, variables sorry, and uh, sending the output of this to the screen. Now in this video we will add to this existing code uh, to do some conditional executing. Uh, so let's go straight into the code. Let's not wait any longer. As you can see this is the program uh, we wrote before. Uh, the numbers are still pretty big so uh, I will just uh, make them make them small again uh, let's say let's just do 10 times 25 so it's easier and as you can see it is still it's still working the first number is 10 the second is 25 and multiplying these gives 250 and it will end the program now I want my program to act on this this the outcome of this multipli multiplication and uh, what I wanted to do uh, just for, ex for for an exercise purpose is basically if the number is really high I wanted to complain that it's, it is actually a bit too difficult if it's the number is really low it means it was a really a simple com um, yeah simple calculation so I wanted to brag a bit about it that it's really easy and if anything else happens then it should be sort of indifferent um, which means I have uh, three conditions that I want to work with. Now, uh, in almost any language, uh, the command you use is a sort of if-then uh, statement. Um, so I will start with, okay, it should complain if the number is really high, it should complain it was difficult. So let's say if number, uh, in this case, number three, because that's the outcome of the application. Uh, and let's say if it's bigger than, if it's bigger than 10,000, it should, uh, it should complain. Now, as you can see, uh, GFR Basic automatically capitalizes the command, so it, it recognizes the if command. And let's say uh, print uh, wow, that was that was tough. That, that's that's all it needs to do. Um, and uh, now, what you, what you can do is sort of, uh, uh, you can sort of end the if, if you want to, uh, in another program, and you say, okay, I make another if for the for every condition. But actually, uh, GFR Basic has, uh, it also understands else if, which which I think is, is very, so you can sort of uh, sequence uh, a lot of conditions within one big if statement, um, which, which keeps your code, it's easy to, to comprehend in the long run. So I, I find this very elegant. Uh, I didn't see this else if in any other basic language at the time. So else if, let's say, if the number is really low, uh, so number 3%, actually, if it's smaller than 100, because that's really preschool, uh, preschool, preschool uh, calculations, let's say, in that case, it should print, uh, that was too easy. Let, let it brag a little bit, and and um, and for anything else. So if not one of these conditions is is met, I can say okay, just uh, uh, print just another day's work. Uh, let's do it with the periods and the sentence, and of course for every int. Uh, and if I have to end it. So now I made I made a set, set a set of conditions using the if command and for every condition I defined an action uh, what the, the program should do. Of course this is a really simple one um, but I, I really like the else if option because I can do this multiple times like it will just go in sequence if this then okay then this then this then this etc. And what I also find very elegant what you see is it automatically indents the code. So I didn't put this indentation here actually the computer does that himself because uh, if I want to insert something, uh, wow, again, and I press enter, it all automatically indents the code. So it, it keeps. You can see that all these commands are actually part of this if uh, if this of this if statement, which I also find very very elegant. But having talked enough, let's just see. Uh, let's test the code. It doesn't give me any error. So in this case, uh, it calculates, it multiplies 10 by 25, which gives 250. So it will say just another day's work because it's it's not smaller than 100 and it's also not a bigger, not bigger than 1,000. 
But if I make this one like really big and I run the code, of course this number is now really high and it will start complaining to me like, wow, that was tough, that was really tough. I agree with him, I couldn't have done this myself. And of course, if it's really low, for instance, I just want to multiply five times two and I run, it says, okay, five times two, that's 10. That's lower than 100, so it should actually, yeah, and it does. That was too easy, return. So basically, uh, this is a nice to, to sort of split uh, or based on conditions, execute specific code, uh, which uh, I think it's called conditional code execution. I'm not even sure. Uh, if not, I think I made up a great term for it. And yeah, this is basically all, everything for this small video. Um, so we had an example how to use if, including the else if. And in the next video, we, we shall add to this code more because now I'm typing the numbers uh, directly in the program, which is called hard coding. And it's never really a good idea, uh, especially if you want to, uh, yeah, you have to rerun the program and reprogram the code to do it. So in the next video, we will explore on how to how to actually get some input from the user to use in our program. Um, but that's in the next video. I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.